So in this problem, we're going to um, look to actually find x values from the probabilities. Um, the way I can tell that is when I read the problem, I notice I'm giving um, that 2.5% of the thermometers are rejected because they have readings that are too high, and another 2.5% are rejected because they have readings that are too low, um, and to find out those cutoff values. So in this case, we want to actually find the x values. Um, as a reminder, the x values are... Um, in this case, what we measured, and so in this case, we're measuring temperature. And we want to find two temperatures. Um, we do talk about 2.5% are too high, and 2.5% are too low. It might be helpful to draw a picture. We are told that we are normally distributed, so that tells me we should draw a normal curve. And let's put in some information we know about this normal curve. We know its mean is zero degrees, so that means the center is zero, and its standard deviation is one. So again, the mean is zero, and the standard deviation is one. Um, this being the case, um, a normal curve that has a standard deviation of one and a mean of zero is called the standard normal curve, so we could be using the letter Z instead of the letter X here. Um, but I prefer X. So 2.5% of the thermometers are too high. So we're looking for some x value that really has a lot, uh, a little bit of space right above it, and a lot right below it. So that might be that value there, and that area would be 2.5%. Um, we also have 2.5% are too low. So that would be down here. Low would mean we're below the mean. And so here, this is 2.5%. So these are my x values. I'm going to call this one x1, the lower one x1, and the upper one x2, just to give them names. All right, so now at this point, I just need to find those values. Um, using, again, technology, you can find these values by looking at the values that are um, the area that's below a certain value. If you use, again, the TI-83 calculator or TI-84 calculator, then your x would equal the inverse norm of the area below. For x1, the area below is the 2.5%, so you just have to put in the 0 0.25, oops, sorry, excuse me. I write that wrong every time. 0 0.025, then a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. So you take out your calculator, and you go into your distro menu if you're on the calculator and do the inverse norm. And again, you're putting in 0 0.025 for the area, the mean of 0, standard deviation of 1. And you end up with negative 1.96, let's say. Um, these were in degrees Celsius, so the units would be degrees Celsius. So x1 is pretty um, straightforward. x2 is a little bit more work. To find x2, again, we need the area below. So I need this area here. I happen to know the area above is 2.5%. Um, I do know the area under the entire normal curve is 1. So therefore, this area would be 1 minus 0 0.025 or 0 0.975. So to find x2, again, you use the inverse norm button. This time you put in 0 0.975, mean of 0, standard deviation of 1. When I do that, I end up with positive 1.96. Approximately. Again, the units are in degrees Celsius. And that's all there is to finding this information.